Namaste guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a simple fabric mechanism in SolidWorks so first of all select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 after that uh, what I'm gonna do is draw a simple cylinder so to make a simple cylinder I am gonna first make a cross section and after that uh, what I will gonna do is to use revolve command so make the dimension as per your requirement 10 mm uh, 10 mm is basically the radius and its height is 60 mm you can change the height as per your requirement after that go to features click code revolve boss base click no and click the direction of thin feature to outside the sketch and enter the thickness value of 1 mm you can change the value of thickness as per your requirement click ok after that select the select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 now draw a circle of radius of diameter 4 mm click on features click on extrude cut click ok after that select this face press ctrl plus 8 now click on sketch click on corner rectangle draw a rectangle here its dimension are 1.5 and height is 5 mm and the distance from center is 3 mm like this point and this point make it horizontal go to linear sketch click on circular pattern select this point go to an entities to pattern select this line this line this line and this line uh, make number of stances to 2 click ok and extrude it up to a height of 2 mm ok so this this is our first part let's make another thing here press ctrl plus 8 uh, so basically I, I am going to draw the guide veins so the thickness is 1.2 and this is 1 draw a center line click on where entities select this line mirror about this line click ok go to features click on extrude boss base select up to the surface in direction if anybody doesn't know how to use it you can check out the basics of uh, extrusion in my channel so click up to the surface and select this surface click ok you can also see what basically happened here inside is this a uh, clear picture uh, basically these two things are a stopper mechanism so that uh, the thing that basically moves up the glue stick upward uh, doesn't go doesn't rotate here after and onwards that is the reason of stopper here now let's make our another part uh, first save this part save it as P1 now press ctrl plus n click on part click ok and select the front plane draw a corner rectangle uh, thickness is 2 mm and its height is 55 mm to draw something else for example and this is 1 mm and this whole distance is 10 mm 
वन एम एम वन एम एम गो टू ट्रीम एंटिटीज ट्रीम दिस लाइन क्लिक ऑन फीचर्स क्लिक ऑन ए वोट बोस पेस सिलेक्ट दिस एक्सिस क्लिक ओके ओके राइट क्लिक ऑन स्केच आई हैव डन मिस्टेक प्लस कंट्रोल प्लस एट सो बेसिकली द मिस्टेक इज नहीं नहीं ओके जस्ट ओके सो क्लिक हेयर क्लिक ऑन चैम्फर चैम्फर जैसे टू एम एम ओके टू एम एम इज क्वाइट फायर सो से पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ओके पॉइंट फाइव एम एम इज ओके आफ्टर डैट गो टू होल विजर्ट क्लिक ऑन थ्रेड क्लिक ओके सिलेक्ट दिस एच and up to the selection select this face now select the thread type as per your requirement here the select threads m10 1.0 so you can see the thread click okay so here we got our thread save this part as p2 rebuild and save the document and After that, we are going to make last part. Click OK. So press select the front sketch plane. Click on sketch and draw a rectangle of radius 10 mm. And its thickness is 15 mm. Draw another rectangle uh, Let's say it's 50 mm. Sorry, 45 mm. And its thickness is 9. So. Click on features. Click on reward boss base. Select this line. Select counter. Select this and this. Click OK. Now after that, go to insert. Okay, so we import, so we insert this part, and it asking for the lo locate the part. So select the front plane. Select the constraints. Select this plane and select this plane. Click add. After that, select the right plane of this component and select the right plane of our component. Click Add and select the top face and this top face. Click Add and after that, what you have to do is okay. We have to undo the last one. Right click here, delete it. Uh, what we need to do is select this face and select this face and set a distance 
script dimension say 30 mm okay I have, I have done a mistake right click on it and uncheck the flip click ok so now after that go to insert go to features click on combine click on subtract this is the main body and we want to subtract this click ok as you can see our threads are made inside of it uh, I can also use the thread feature but it will not give the accurate result ok and select this top face press control plus 8 press control plus 8 again so remove the extra part because there is no need of thread afterwards click on extrude cut click ok click on show and select this face press control plus 8 and we will do we will make the stopper here but I will do that it in assembly so press control plus S to save this now go to assembly click ok import all these parts and we also forget to make these uh, guide fins here so I'm also gonna make that so first right click on it click on so okay I can move that component select this edge and this edge okay assembly go to mates we have made it that and select this edge and this as axis and mate it select this face and this face click on mate and now let's do the important work select this component click on edit component click on save and continue rebuild and save the document save it as per your requirement fabric stick i am saving it and after that select this face sketch press control plus 8 and i have to make these guide veins so what i can do is I guess uh, make sure the dimensions are same go to features click oh, sorry go to sketch click on your entities select this and select this line click ok click on extrude cut click on through all click ok exit the assembly after that click on mate select this face and this face and now we have to made mechanical mate click on screw So 
select this one Click on reverse. Okay. Click OK and click OK. So move this downward. Right click here. Change transparency. So when you move this. So go to motion study click motor select this click ok click on calculate as you can see so basically when thread moves it can only move upward and the guide uh, guide it that it can move it moves straight upward ok so let's uh, so now you can make it colored as per your requirement or modify it as per your requirement if you have any doubts and queries and you have any particular you know requirement of your video tutorial or doubts you can just comment and I will try to help you I hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste